we was just looking around like how can I make a difference in this world and uh, the Standing Rock protest had um, begun and I'd gotten word through some friends that they were in need of supplies. So I just did what I do, which is organize, and we wound up with an entire RV full to the gills with all kinds of camping supplies and some food and some medicines. And myself, a couple other delegates and friends um, went out uh, to Standing Rock. I was only there for about three days, but it was long enough to kind of see what was going on and what the needs were. And so one of the big needs was food. So I said, well, I volunteered. Well, I can call some farmers. So I called Tyler and I said, hey, um, you know, we're trying to, and I always kind of was careful how to word it because I didn't want to just get the phone slammed down on me again. And I said, we're trying to put together some food to feed people who are, um, you know, supporting the uh, Standing Rock protests that are going on. And he goes, oh yeah. And I, and I said, yeah. You know, if you just have, you know, a couple pound, pounds of potatoes, you know, or I don't know what you what you grow there. And he goes, oh, he goes, I can load, he goes, I can get you a truckload. And I'm like, well, like a truckload, like a truck of, like a pickup truck load? He goes, no, he goes, I can get you as much as you want. He goes, I can get you a semi load. So I immediately, you know, text Lisa and said, he says he can get a truck load. And I said, a semi load. So um, then it just kind of, it blossomed from there and he was that and he said I remember the conversation was a well because he said I have a truck full of bananas if you want to take them today he goes but they have to go today because if, you know in a week they'll be bad so they have to pick them up today so while I'm at work I was kind of secretly texting you know going we can you do we want a truck of bananas so but it was just kind of a funny thing so um, over the course of the next four months we would wind up running 11 supply runs out to Standing Rock. You know, we had a group of folks, probably six folks that rotated through, and it, it wasn't that they were sorting food for our truck. They were just sorting food, which would free up the energy so that when the truck needed paying to go. It forward. Exactly, paying it forward, and then it would all kind of work out. Um, Tyler doesn't, and Elizabeth don't care what religion you are, they don't care what political uh, opinion you have. All they wanted to do was just give us food. <laughs> so rarely do I leave here without something. They, they're constantly giving to the community, you know? If more people could do their part, like they're not doing a little thing out here, this is huge. But still, like if you look at any one aspect, if any person or if every person does one little tiny piece, then that can change everything. And they're providing a model for how to do 20 tiny different pieces, more even.